Okay, YouTube. Back at it again. Finally got everything all tightened down. Um, got all three belts on. Uh, I know it's dark right now. Y'all can't see it, but I also got the belt that I was talking about in an earlier video with the power stern to help it balance it. So. I got it all pretty much all ran back like it's supposed to. I'm still waiting on my breather to come in. And figuring in this out. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna go on Amazon and go ahead and order the relay kit for that. Um I was on the standstill with that because my guy said that he had one and the one that he had is not pretty much the one I wanted so um you guys who whoever did you know what I'm saying the electric fans tell me the way that y'all hook it up and, uh, and let me know what relays and stuff that y'all went with to, to hook y'all fans up and that way I can get that Go ahead and get that squared away. I got everything, all my fluids, all in here. Which this one then went down a little bit, so I gotta add a little bit more to it. So give me a second, let me pour a little bit more. It didn't need much. I wasted a little bit of it right there, but it didn't need much to tap it off. I guess once I um once I crank the motor up on. Um, most likely, I'm gonna have to add a little bit more to it, but I bought two, two gels of antifreeze, so I got one in it, and plus I just opened that one and put a little bit more in there, but and I also got some in my overflow jug, so I have a little bit in there as well. I got all my transmission fluids, my oil, all that's pulled. I only have one more thing to um to add to it and I, I forgot but it's my um power stern fluid. I forgot all about this on the how can I forget that but I did so I'ma stop and go grab me some of that to pull in there and gas gas and crack it up so Y'all stay tuned for that video because it'll be coming real, real soon. Um, just looking over, like I said, before I crank it, I really want to have these fans installed the correct way. So if you guys ever did this, could y'all please drop a comment and let me know the way that y'all ran them. That way they won't be running this is what I don't want them to do. I don't want them to be running all the time. I want them to be running with the temperature and also with the um with the um AC going. I want them to come on and cut off just like a new car would. And I decided to go ahead and put me one. Well, I got a cooler that I was gonna put on my transmission. Um, so I'm gonna put the cooler on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing this. That's the reason why I haven't bolted that back down. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, remove the whole front, put the cooler on there. And also I'm gonna put a fan on my condenser. That way, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta worry about it, it running hot either. I was watching a video and there was, I seen another guy doing it and I was like, that's pretty smart. So, well actually, um, it was Sprayway. It was Sprayway video that I was watching. Shout out to him. And I seen that he was putting two cooling fans on his um, condenser to keep his AC, you know, pumping. And even if you're sitting at a red light or a stop sign, you know, you don't gotta worry about getting any kind of heat from that. So I am gonna do that too, to this one. Because it do get pretty hot down here. Once it do get hot, it's hot. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna put the cooler um i'm gonna put that on uh, what it is I, i'm trying to think of the name of it but it's it's a transmission cooler that i'm also gonna install and 
hooking the fans up, putting some Power Stone fluid in here and some gas, and she ready to go. And next to the um, going to the exhaust shop. Now with the box, I said that I was on auto meal box. Well, I decided to go ahead and get me one made for this car that my better can sit in. That way I ain't got to be worried about strapping it down and anything. So when I get up in the morning, which I was on do this morning, I'm going to go over there by my guy and we're going to go ahead and mark us one up. And once I get there, I, I'll make a video and let y'all guys see some of his work. He awesome. He the ones on um, notch my frame also. So, yeah, I am getting my frame notched. I'm going to get it braced back correctly. So, I'm going to have no problems later on in the future. Because, like I said, I am going to put an LS in here next year. Later on, at the end of the year, an LS will be going in here. And I am going to be doing this brake conversion um, to the back. So, y'all stay tuned. And the video with this car being crunk up. It's coming very very soon but right now the issue is for me to figure out the correct way of running my fans because i never did this before so if i have to get somebody over here to do it or uh, maybe if y'all have any kind of suggestions let me know and i try to do it myself but thanks for watching and i see y'all on the next video peace out